very talented man. He's seven foot, but he's not ten foot. There's the official tip, and we're underway with the Oklahoma Impact winning the tip, wearing the white jerseys with the silver numbers. There is a quick jumper that is no good. Whitfield tried for the rebound. It's eventually made by Frazier. Hey, uh, you're getting a little feedback on that microphone, but young Matt threw the ball up really high. I don't think Kellen Lee is that tall, is he? No, not even. It's inside. It's stripped. He gets it back. And it's Philip Hillstock getting the games on the board on the I might question your volume on that. Um, I'm also going to do a little play-by-play -play with you, if you don't mind. Go right ahead, Darrell. And a foul on the inside is... So we... <laughs> we definitely welcome back the voice of the Colorado Kings. It's good to have the voice back, isn't it? Absolutely, the voice of the Colorado Kings. <laughs> Are you saying I didn't do a good job yesterday? <laughs> so this is Michael Hill shooting the free throws. Bill hit in both as the foul was on Jermaine Mason. He is first in the Kings first. There is a tip, but Frazier gets it back and lays it in. Robert Frazier giving the Kings a 4-2 lead. And there was Robert Frazier with the, the putback. Uh, he did a little hesitation move to get his shot up. He had 35 points in the game yesterday. So he's starting picking up where he lopped off yesterday. Now the impact trying to answer the bell here. A nice Pass inside out of bounds. That's a, a nice try inside by Jonathan Reed trying to feed the post, but it uh, ends up being a near turnover. Uh, Oklahoma still keeps the ball. And Looks like it went off Kevin Lee. Second to shoot. We got one second on the shot clock, so they're going to have to get up a quick shot now. Granted, we're in a uh, high school gym, so we don't have point seconds. Uh, so the shot clock is getting adjusted. The coach is rubbing his head. <laughs> but uh, this is what we're at. You know, we're, uh, we got one second, two seconds on the shot clock. Yeah, they do. All right, so the shot clock's upside down. Bear with us, fans, while we get it together. There we go. One second on the shot clock. Jennifer is the best scorekeeper in Colorado. So they got to get it off pretty quick here, based on Jennifer's finger. And they and get it off, and it's no good. Rebound all in by Mason. Mason almost pulled it over. Now, will they call the 3D rule on this one? We're not going to give the refs any help, are we? No, absolutely not. It's the refs to help us. So uh, they're they're determining right now whether it's a 3D. And it is, it is a 3D. 3D, so 3D in effect. The 3D light is on, and what that means is what? What does that mean, Devin Robb? That means if they get a two-point basket, it'll count for three points, so this will count for four points, and, and that's good for Jonathan Reed. That is a four-point basket from Jonathan Reed. He took advantage of the 3D rule, and he definitely shot that long-distance bomb. Now that puts Oklahoma Impact up 4-6. to six. That one was erased. And, and now they tie it up, ball. and that is a jump ball. Possession arrow. To the Colorado Kings after the impact won the jump. This is one part of the game that's no different. <laughs> from college and high school, alternating possession on jump balls. So Colorado Kings with the ball on the alternating possession. Marlon Jones and Philip Hillstock got tied up. Here's Frazier, makes a fake, and then as it stripped from him, and here comes Reed the other way for the impact. Colorado Kings are starting off a little sloppy, a little slow like they did yesterday. Good defense by Kellen Lee as he gets on the floor. Despite that, Michael Hill gets the rebound, digs it out. Marlon Jones with the shot over the seven-footer. The rebound is made by Hillstock. Hillstock with the rebound, and looks like Kellen Lee bothered that shot. Here's a drive and a reverse layup. Oh! Go, Kellen Lee slams it back in to tie the game at six. Huge slam by Kellen Lee. You got to remember these are uh, under FIBA rules or international rules. So Kellen actually took that ball off the rim before it came off. Well, either way, got the job done. And now we have a 6-6 game, 9-23 and counting in the first quarter.